Okay, thank you very much for uh, also for uh, except is uh, our our event is a uh, you know is uh, <clears throat> I am appreciate and uh, thank you very much for your uh, honor to guest uh, speaker as our event. But in CAO we we <clears throat> our event uh, start on uh, 2018, but uh, after two year we uh, on site. But after two year is uh, on. 2020 and 21 and 22, uh, we have a uh, because COVID-19 we uh, on online mode. But this event support by our group, uh, community quality and application research group and tech center. And so Dr. Berlin, head of this group, we want to separate for for young 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 uh, red. Mathematician Dr. Berlin, uh, he is the organizer of this event. But I, <clears throat> I would like to introduce some uh, a little bit for uh, nine co collaboration with Professor Walisir Bidande as uh, uh, to Napoca at Romania. We have <clears throat> many many students who visit you at Biomale and uh, to Napoca in Romania. This picture we take. Uh, with uh, uh, Fermat, uh, world mathematician, look like Professor Luz, uh, and also he, he is uh, your advisor and Professor Adrian. Uh, two of them is a uh, student of Professor Luz. Look like in uh, Thailand, we have uh, Professor Songpong. He is also is a great father mathematician of our group on fixed point theory and application. We have a uh, nine collaboration many, many times. And I, when I visit <coughs> Romania, I keep a talk for uh, your student and uh, uh, I send student for for you and also connect to uh, MOU and research project with uh, Elamus Task. Uh, we have code friend, uh, Professor Nalin too, and Professor Somjot and Professor Sutep also is a, uh, college family of our, our collaboration. So today I would like to invite to Professor Bersley Bernadette for keep a talk. Thank you very much for your joy here today. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Oh. <laughs> I will uh, please allow me to share uh, my screen. Also. Okay, you, you can share now, it's allowed. And by the way, um, nice to have all of the participants here. I'd like to say hello to all of you. Um, good morning, Professor Juan Martinez Moreno. Good morning, um, morning, Gopal. Still uh, not, uh, morning, not uh, share uh, thing, please. Uh, Nice to see you. Hello, hello. Yes. Uh, Parin, I cannot share screen, so please oh. allow me to do this. You should uh, wait, select uh, host or something like that. Wait, 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 wait. Or maybe you have yes. to stop sharing uh, your Parin, screen. I cannot share screen, so please uh, allow me. Yes, it's a... <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, okay. perhaps I can do this. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm not able in this. Okay. Um, the talk will be about 45 minutes. So we are around five minutes late, but don't worry, you have 45 minutes. All right, can you see my screen? Yeah, uh, we have yes. to see. Okay, so um, hello to everybody. Uh, my aim in this uh, paper is threefold. First of all, I would like to revisit some old fixed points results from the 60s 
second, I would like to give some new developments about uh, these uh, results. And third, and not least, I would like to stress in this context on the role of illustrative examples when uh, dealing with generalizations or extensions in uh, mathematics. This uh, paper uh, is a joint paper with Madalina Pekurar from Babes Boy University in Cluj Napoca. And we are uh, doing in this way. Um, are paying a very modest tribute to the three important mathematicians whose name is uh, included in the title uh, of this uh, presentation, Chiric, Rai, and Rus. This uh, paper is uh, related to the one we have published in the special issue dedicated to Professor Joanna Rus on the occasion of his 85th anniversary. Uh, in a special issue of Carpathian Journal of Mathematics, uh, issue number two on 2021. And uh, in this um, issue, uh, you can see some important uh, collaborators, uh, even from um, Thailand, and I would uh, mention the representatives of the research group in uh, Luz Napoca, Adrian Petruschel and Gabriela Petruschel in collaboration with Erdar Karapinar, also uh, Prekup, Radu, Professor Radu Pe Prekup, who was very recently elected as member of the Romanian Academy, uh, Darius Philip, uh, Madalina Pacurar, and myself, and many other contributors, among which uh, academician Viorel Barbu, who is the president of the Mathematics Commission of the Romanian Academy. So what's about? We are working in a metric uh, space XD, uh, and it is important to uh, tell you that 50 years ago, exactly 50 years ago, in 1971, three mathematicians, Lubomir Ciric, Simeon Reich, and uh, Johan uh, Rus, have established independently a very nice fixed and point theorem for self mappings, uh, which satisfy the following condition. Distance between Tx and Ty is less than a constant A dxy plus a constant B and the sum of these two uh, displacement. Uh, distance between x and Tx, distance between y and Ty for all x, y in x, where the constant A, B are non-negative and uh, this uh, sum a plus 2b is less than 1. It is Im uh, immediately seen that if b is 0, from this condition, we uh, found the original uh, Banach contraction condition 2 here uh, in, uh, written in the case of a metric space. These are the three uh, publications. Chiric uh, in pu pu uh, publication of Institute of Mathematics in Belgrade, Reich in Canadian Mathematical Bulletin, and uh, Rus published in Rendiconti Instituto Mathematica University Tri Universita Trieste. Um, what is interesting, I checked the submission date uh, Rus paper has been submitted in February 1971, but it appeared in 1972. Uh, Chirish submitted his paper in uh, June, and for uh, Reich's paper, there is no mention of the submission date. Also, if we note that if A is zero, then uh, this condition, uh, Chirish Rai Rus, reduces to the well known Kahneman's contraction condition, 
which is uh, this one with B uh, less than one over two, which is obtained from this condition when A is zero. Very interesting uh, unification of the two uh, contraction condition, Banach and Kanan. What is important at this stage to say that uh, the class of Banach contractions is independent of the uh, class of Kanan mappings. So this uh, generalization by uh, Chirich, Reich and Roos is not trivial. Uh, I put here an example taken from a paper by Rhodes, which shows that uh, this mapping T uh, is satisfying Canon uh, mapping uh, contraction condition number three with this constant B, but T does not satisfy Banach's contraction condition two because. Uh, it is in fact uh, not continuous, but we can check also in this way by taking x3 over four and y uh, equal one. Kanan himself introduced this contraction condition in a paper from 1968. So the contribution by Chiri, Chirai and Roos came uh, immediately after this uh, important fixed and point theorem uh, completed the, uh, the Banach contraction condition. In fact, it is easy to see that any Banach contraction with the constant uh, A less than one over three is also a canon mapping. And this can be proved directly from Banach, uh, Banach contraction condition we use triangular inequality and uh, you write the fact that the distance between X and Y is less than distance between X, TX plus distance from TX to TY and then plus distance uh, from TY to Y and then take this in the left hand side and obtain exactly a canon type condition where this constant we denote by B is less than one over two if A is uh, less than one over three. This uh, uh, fact is very important and uh, it is easy to show that uh, also we can have uh, Banach contractions which are not kind of mapping. So the, these two classes of uh, mappings are different. Uh, what is important to stress uh, on Banach fixed and point theorem versus Kanan fixed and point theorem is the fact that Banach fixed and point theorem is a very powerful tool in applications, but it does not characterize the metric completeness. While Kanan fixed and point theorem characterizes the metric completeness in the sense that a metric space is complete if and only if any canon mapping has a fixed point. But a canon fixed point theorem has no uh, concrete applications or in any way it is very difficult to apply it to concrete applications. So it is an open problem, still an open problem to find applications of canon fixed point theorem. It, this should be for sure uh, dealing with singular differential equations or with singular integral equation. If uh, otherwise the operator associated to a differential equation will be continuous. So we, in general, a canon uh, mapping as we have seen in the examples uh, before is a discontinuous one. Now, uh, coming back to Chiri Chirai Rus contractions, uh, um, a typical fixed and point theorem for this class of contraction is the following one. Uh, in a complete metric space, if we have a Chiri Chirai Rus contraction, then T is a Picard mapping, uh, a concept introduced by Rus. That is, T has a unique fixed point and Picard iterations converges to this fixed point for any starting point X. 
the the fact that Chiri Chirai rules Higgs and point theorem it's a uh, true it's a genuine generalization of both Banach and Kahnan fixed and point theorems comes from the following examples. First example is due to Roos. Uh, he considered the interval zero one with this function and uh, we can uh, check that he is satisfying the Chirich Rai Roos contraction condition with these two numbers but he does not satisfy neither Banach contraction condition two because T is not continuous and also nor Canon contraction condition. And to see that we just take these two values for X and Y in the Canon contraction condition to uh, get this contradiction. It is important to say that uh, the fixed and point results established by Chich Rai Rus in uh, the three papers I mentioned before under slightly different forms are, as I, I said before, true generalization of Banner contraction principle and of Canon uh, fixed and point theorem. And they uh, thus unify these two beautiful fixed and point theorems. Here is the example by Rai. It is also interesting. It is a function T which is not continuous. It satisfies chirich rai Roos condition with these two values is uh, not a Banach contraction between because it is not continuous, but um, uh, neither uh, Canon contractions. And uh, we take these values in the Canon contraction condition to this to see that. What is important here to say is that um, Chirich Rai Roof contractions um, also. Uh, introduced 50 years ago still attract the interest of uh, current researcher. According to Massainet, there are 13 papers, at least 13 papers published in the last 10 years, which contain these uh, uh, three names in the title in uh, this order or in different order. Some of them are Reich, Ruch, Chirich or, uh, or other combination. Uh, and also more than, uh, I found more than 33 uh, papers on this topic with Chirich, Reich, Ruch in their title in the last 15 years or so. So it's very nice that an old result uh, still uh, still in, uh, uh, attract interest of uh, researchers in fixed and point theory. Graphically, the situation with Banach contractions denoted by B, Canon mappings denoted by K is this one. So here are the uh, con Banach contraction with coefficient less than one over three. Then Chirich Reich Rus uh, class of contraction will be this green dashed uh, area. And we can see that this mapping T with contraction, it's a contraction with contraction coefficient less than one over three. It's a Banach contraction, but not a Canon contraction. This uh, mapping T, uh, it's uh, a Canon mapping, but it's not a Banach uh, contraction. This mapping three, it's both Banach and Can or Can Banach contraction and Canon mappings. And the two examples due to rules here, four and five are here in this area. They don't belong to these classes, but just to the chirich rai Roos class of mappings. Starting uh, from this uh, fact, I was interested to uh, give some uh, extensions of the class of chirich rai Roos contraction. But at the beginning, I will speak about extending the class of Banach uh, contraction and of Canon mappings. Uh, some two years ago in Iwana, in Thailand, I presented um, a method of uh, what I call enriching contractive type mappings. This was done for non-expensive mappings. As contractions are uh, in some way 
uh, related, uh, strictly related to the non-expensive mappings because non-expensive mappings are a limit case of uh, Banach contractions. We uh, did a study of this uh, enriched contraction in this paper published in the Journal of Fixed and Point Theory and Applications in 2020. And the definition of this concept is the following one. We work in the linear north space. A mapping, a self-mapping T of X is said to be a rich contraction or B A should be here, uh, a rich contraction. If there exists a non-negative um, constant K and a non-negative constant A less than K plus one such that we have this uh, condition satisfied. And it is important to stress that this condition four is in fact equivalent with the fact that the average uh, map T lambda is a contraction in the usual sense, a Banach contraction is in the usual sense. It is easy to see that any Banach contraction T is a zero enriched contraction, zero A enriched contraction. Uh, that is, uh, it satisfies this condition we k with k equals zero when we uh, receive the original Banach contraction condition. Uh, it, here it is an example to show that um, the class of uh, enriched non-expensive mappings, which includes the class of Banach contractions, uh, is uh, richer than the class of Banach contraction. So this map T is uh, non-expensive. It is an rich contraction, but is not a contraction. To, to see that we assume it is a contraction, this means it will exist an, a constant A such that this uh, condition holds. But for any x different of y, this is different of zero. We divide this and we get this contradiction. And so T is not a contraction. T is an enriched contraction uh, because the enriched contraction condition four is equivalent in this case to this inequality. It's enough to take absolute value of k minus one equal to a, and we'll get the T it's a one minus a, a enriched contraction for any constant a in zero one. So also we know that this map T has a unique fixing point and this non-expensive. Graphically, the situation is as uh, follows. Uh, we have the class of uh, Banach contractions. For Banach contractions, we know that Picard iterations converges to uh, uh, fixed points of such a mapping in the class B. We also know that Picard iteration does not converge for all T in the class EB. For example, for this map we uh, presented before, two minus X for X in zero two, we have an oscillatory sequence if A is different of one. So this sequence is not convergence. So Picard iteration does not converge here in the blue area. So this is why we need a more elaborate uh, iterative scheme like Krasnosolsky iterative scheme to approximate um, fixed points of mappings in uh, this uh, class of mappings. And we should use Krasnoselsky iteration as written here or man iteration when lambda is depending on the uh, iter of, of the step of the iteration. So um, just to show you that the first um, um, the main result for a rich contraction that was proved in this paper is the following one. We have an rich, okay, a rich contraction. Then this uh, uh, map has a unique fixed point. There exists a lambda in this interval such that the iterative method, uh, which is given by this formula, that is Krasnoselsky iterations, iteration converges to P for any starting point X zero. We can see that for B equals zero, 
for a equals zero, sorry, we for k equals zero. I was wrong here. So for k equals zero, from this theorem, we receive exactly the Banach fixed point theorem in uh, uh, the case of Banach spaces. And if k is zero, this lambda is one, and then Krasnosetsky iteration will reduce to usual um, Banach. Uh, or usual Picard iteration, sorry. We have also uh, similarly to the Banach contraction principle on hybrid error estimate for this uh, process uh, Xn in theorem. Now, um, not naturally, because we were speaking about uh, the origin of the chirich rai rus fixed point theorem, which unifies Banach contraction and canon mappings, it is naturally to introduce the class of uh, enriched canon mappings. This has been done in this paper published in uh, 2021. And we define similarly a mapping T as being a rich canon mapping or uh, uh, KB uh, canon mapping if we have this condition. Uh, to indicate this constant uh, k and b in uh, this uh, contractive condition, we usually call it kb and rich canon mapping. It is also easy to see that if k is zero, so this term disappears, uh, we receive exactly the original canon uh, contraction condition in the case of a Banach space. So any canon mapping is a enriched canon mapping, but the reverse is not true as the following example shows. We consider the interval zero one, we consider this map. Again, uh, T is not a canon mapping, but T is an mapping. To show this, we just assume it is a canon mapping. That is, it exists a constant B less than one over two, such that this inequality is true we take x one over two, y equal one, and we'll get the contradiction one over two less than b less than one over two. So it is not a canon uh, mapping, but it is an enriched canon mapping, which is shown uh, very easily by using uh, this inequality. And we obtain that, uh, sorry, we obtain that T is a one minus two B, B and rich uh, canon mapping for any B in this interval. To conclude the facts we presented about Banach and rich mapping, uh, contraction uh, and rich uh, contraction mappings and canon and rich mappings, we can see that uh, they have common elements. So for example, this map presented in this example is also an enriched Banach contraction. This map also is an enriched uh, uh, canon contraction and so on. So like in the case of original Banach contraction and canon mapping, uh, their intersection of these cl two classes of mappings is non-empty. The gra graphically, the situation will be uh, similar. So we have Banach contraction, canon mappings, the enriched Banach contraction is this dashed area. The enriched canon mappings will be this area, blue one dashed area. And uh, we have seen that Tx given by this formula, it's an enriched contraction, but is not a Banach contraction. So it does not uh, uh, belong in this area. It should be somewhere here, but it is also not a canon mapping, is not in this area. T is a can and rich canon mappings mapping, then it will be in this common uh, area to enrich contractions and enrich canon mappings. So we can uh, see that this intersection enriched contraction, which are not a contract Banach contractions and the rich canon mappings, which are not canon mappings, this intersection is non-empty. 
it makes sense to put these open problems to find a map T, which is a rich uh, contraction, but is not a rich canon mapping, or it's a rich canon mapping and it's a rich uh, contraction because this map is also is simultaneously a rich contraction and a rich canon mapping. This would be interesting to find such examples. Now coming back to Chirich Rai Rus contraction, in this uh, recent paper we published in uh, the special issue dedicated to Professor Rus, we introduced this definition to generalize the concept of Chirich Rai Rus contraction. And we call this uh, map a KAB enriched Chirich Rai Rus contraction if we can find these three constants uh, K. Uh, a, B, and uh, A and B. K uh, is non-negative. A, B, non-negative, and we have this condition to relate A and B, satisfying this uh, uh, condition. Of course, for K equal to zero, we can see that we get the chirich rus uh, contraction. So any chirich rus contraction satisfies uh, seven with K equal zero. Any Banach contraction, any kind of mappings also satisfies this condition, and also any rich kind of mappings do satisfy this uh, contraction condition. If we make the same graphical representation, we'll have enriched uh, contractions, enriched kind of mappings, we will have Chirich Reich Ruth contractions, and so. Chirich and rich Chirich Rai Rus contractions will include all these classes and has here some area which does not belong to the green dashed area. This means that uh, this map, it's a rich uh, Chirich Rai Rus contraction, is not a Chirich Rai Rus contraction because if it would be a Chirich Rai Rus contraction, we'll have, uh, we can find two uh, non-negative numbers, A, B, satisfying this condition, such that the chirich rai Rus contraction holds, but this would be equivalent to this condition and just take X one over four, Y three over four in this condition to get a contradiction that A plus two B is greater or equal to one while it is uh, required that this is less than one. So this uh, contradiction proved that the enriched uh, chirich rai rus uh, class of contractions is richer than the chirich rai rus contractions and includes all these classes of contractions. A sample result for enriched chirich rai rus contraction is given in this paper I mentioned before. I forgot to tell you that in this paper, we also uh, obtain uh, such kind of generalizations in convex matrix spaces, not only in Banach spaces. So in a Banach space, we consider a KAB and rich Chirish Rai Rus contraction, and we have the usual conclusion in such a theorem. We have a unique fixing points and the Krasnoselsky a certain Krasnoselsky iteration converges to this fixed point for any starting point X0. And we have this hybrid uh, est error estimate where delta has this value. Of course, it is important to note that if we take here A equals zero, we get the fixed point theorem for enriched Kannan mappings. But if we compare now the three uh, enriched contraction condition uh, studied so far, that is the Banach uh, contraction uh, condition, enriched Banach contraction condition, this one with K non-negative and A in this interval, enriched canon mapping with this condition, K uh, non-negative and B in this interval, and enriched chirich rai rus contraction, with K in this interval, A, B non-negative satisfying this condition, uh, we'll see the following uh, thing. 
for a equals zero here, so this term disappears and we get exactly the enriching, uh, enriched Kannon uh, contraction condition. It, but if we take B equals zero here, look, we'll get exactly this contraction condition, but the condition are K non-negative and A in the interval zero one, because this uh, results from this condition but not this condition which is uh, uh, initially used in the enriched contraction condition. So this means that, that the class of enriched chirich rai rules conditions, condition introduced in the uh, previous paper is not a complete uh, generalization of the enriched uh, class uh, enriched contractions, uh, the class of enriched contractions. So we repair this uh, uh, drawback by in a very recent paper, uh, just uh, submitted a new class of unsaturated mappings, chirich rai rus contractions, which uh, include a modification of the definition we presented uh, above. So the difference is that we have the same setting a mapping it's called exactly the same chirich rai enriched chirich rai rus contraction if k is in zero infinity a b are non negative but instead of the condition a plus 2b less than 1 we have this condition a uh, our class k plus 1 plus 2b less than 1 and in this way for k it, it equal to 0 we receive the usual chirich rai rus contraction. This disappears. For B equals zero, we recover the class of enriched contractions because in that case, we should have, look, if B is zero, we'll have A less than K plus one. So exactly the condition we missed in the previous definition. And of course, for A equals zero, uh, we receive the class of enriched canon mappings. Now the graphical uh, uh, situation will be uh, the same. And we can see that indeed the class of enriched chirich rai rus contractions uh, include the class of uh, uh, Banach uh, enriched Banach contraction, this one. And here are the conclusions of this uh, presentation. We have seen that by using the average map T lambda instead of T in, in a contraction condition, we obtain very important classes of mappings. We call them enriched mappings. And uh, in this way, we obtain the class of enriched non-expensive mappings uh, included in these two papers from 2019 and 2000. Uh, there is another one I forgot to put here in Banach spaces. This is uh, in Hilbert spaces. Then we get these enriched chirich rai rus contractions we already published and uh, in particular we get these enriched Banach contractions in this paper uh, from journal of fixed and point theory also we get in a particular case from chirich enriched chirich rai rus contraction the enriched canon mappings in from this paper uh, and also we get the enriched phi contractions from this paper published in this year in symmetry. And uh, also we get what we called unsaturated classes of contractive mappings. We introduced and studied in this paper. And uh, last but not least, we get uh, results for enrich multivalued contractions like in this paper uh, also very recent published in symmetry. And of course, uh, for enriched Chirich quasi contractions, 
we have this uh, uh, paper very recent published in mathematics and many others. What is important to say at the end is that the class of enriched uh, contractions enriched Kanan mappings and rich Chirichirai rules uh, mappings and so on include some non expensive mappings, which is totally different from Banach contraction, Kanan contractions, um, Chirichirai root contraction, and so on. And they also include some Lipschitzian with constant Lipschitz greater than one mappings, pseudo contractive mappings, and many others. So and rich contractions and rich canon mappings and rich Chirish Rai Rus contraction and so on are larger classes of mappings and they allow, allow uh, having uh, some non expensive and other kind of mappings which cannot be included in the usual classes of contraction, canon um, mapping and so on. What is important also to stress here is that for all classes of enriched mappings, Picard iteration is not generally convergent. So we need to use Krasnoselsky iteration to approximate the fixed points of these mappings. Also, it is different because for Banach contraction, for Kanan mappings from Chirich Rairus contraction, Picard iteration has been convergent. So it's a uh, essential difference between usual construction contractions and enriched uh, uh, classes of contractions. It is then uh, uh, related to the concept I mentioned before. I cannot uh, speak about it unsaturated and respectively saturated class of mappings. We say that Banach contractions, Kanan mappings, Chirichrai Rooks uh, contraction form an unsaturated class of mappings because we can enrich them. So it's an open problem for people interested to study uh, all contraction conditions in metric fixing point theory to decide if such a class if saturate is saturated of or not saturated. Uh, in a paper I mentioned before, we succeeded to show two classes of unsaturated uh, or of saturated mapping, sorry. Uh, on the other hand, as fixed point theory uh, nowadays abounds in rather trivial generalization of uh, known results, I have this advice for people working in fixed point theory. When stating and proving a generalization of a known result, so it is needed to prove this generalization is effective. And the example of Chirich, Rai and Roos in 1971 is an exemplary model. They all three proved that their generalization is an effective generalization. So we should pay uh, great respect to these important mathematicians who contributed to the fixed point theory. And because today is a special day for Romania, please allow me to show the Romania's flag. One first December is the national day of my country. I want to show you some uh, images from the parade that will start, or maybe it already started in all important cities in Romania. Uh, with this uh, occasion uh, celebrating the Romania's National Day. Thank you very much for attending. Thank you.